Oh yeah, when you're really on it, this car behaves. You just have to kind of bully it. Welcome to sunny England. Um, as you can tell, the sun is beaming down right now and I'm in the BMW M3 Touring. I've had this car for about a week and a half now and I'm gonna go through some bits I love and some bits I don't love about it, but I'm also gonna explain to you why the BMW M3 is much like where we are right now in the New Forest, a place of heritage, adventure, fun, delight. Fun, delight. I think the first thing we should take a look at is the appearance of the BMW M3 Touring. As you guys know, I'm not a massive BMW fan, or at least I wasn't a massive BMW fan, but somehow BMW got me to not only purchase a BMW i7, but now roll around in this wonderful matte blue M3 Touring. If we take an up close look, we have the beaver tooth grill that was much criticized when the M3 and M4 first launched, but now everyone seems to have accepted it. Especially in this touring form, this grill seems to go with the car really well. I think the proportions just tend to blend in. You have the laser headlights up front with this nice little blue accent. I didn't get to spec this car myself. It was pre-spec'd and given to me. So there are some things that I personally wouldn't have gone for, but I really appreciate it now. Much like this matte blue paint. I am not a fan of matte paint but I've got several compliments when I'm driving around in this already. I think it allows the car to really shine and it shows off things like the power dome, the wide arches on the side, the wonderful fake vents that say M3 competition and the wide arches on the rear that are a first for a touring. There are many firsts on this car. Um, if we come round to the back, yeah. Oh, we're going to do this one take? Okay, come round to the back. <laughs> if you come round to the back, you can see you have these wonderful LED lights. Um, BMW are doing a great job with their lights right now. When you see a BMW driving at night, you can tell what it is before you get close to enough to see the badge, which is really cool. You have these massive exhaust pipes that are real, um, and they make a wonderful sound that I'll play to you later. You have all these aerodynamic elements on the side that hint to the power and the sexiness and the drive of the M3 Touring. Um, in this form, it is competition only. When you get a Touring, you cannot get it in the regular M3 form. That means it comes standard with BMW X Drive and a whole load of other things that I'll get to later on. Um, if there's one issue that I have with the looks, it is this vast void of a roof. Much like the picturesque heathlands of the New Forest, um, it works, but you just wish there was something else there to make it a bit more exciting. And when I say something else, I mean a carbon roof or a panoramic, both of which aren't options on this car, which is insane to me. Um, we've got these wonderful rims that are a pain to clean. Trust me, I know. On this car, I have steel brakes. Again, I didn't get to option it, so I didn't get carbon ceramics, but for a daily car, for a daily driver, I think steel brakes are what you want to go for. They just bite sooner and they make the drive a bit smoother, which is great. Like I said, I wasn't really a BMW fan. Um, I haven't really been for several years. I don't know what it is. I'm the kind of person, well, let me, let me explain to you this way. I don't drink, no, not for any like particular reason. I just never started, so I just never did. Same way with BMW, I just never had one, so I just never thought about owning one. But now that I have um, the possession of, again, the i7 and the M3 Touring, I've realized that this is a car company that shouldn't be toyed with. It's something that really, sets the pace of what it is to be an accessible performance car. So what we're going to do is take it for a drive and I'm going to explain to you why I love the BMW M3 Touring and I'll talk to you about some things I don't love about the BMW M3 Touring. There's not that many. Why am I struggling to say M3, M3 Touring? And anyway, let's go for a drive. I'm literally just going to talk off the cuff. Seeing as you guys love the unscripted stuff, I'm just going to not make it up as I go along, but just speak from the heart. That's a fancy way of saying I'm going to make it up as I go along. The car's very comfortable, I must say. I was expecting a firm ride. From where I've owned like the Urus Performante and other performance variants, like the Cayenne Turbo GT, I've always had to like sacrifice comfort for um, performance. But in this car, it's not, it's not much like that, which is nice. Where we are right now, New Forest is absolutely gorgeous, like the M3 Touring. Um, it is, was originally set up as like a game reserve for um, William the Conqueror. Uh, so it's a place where you should come to have fun and look around and do fun activities and adventure, but at the same time, it can be one where you can kind of relax and chill, much like the M3 Touring, see what I did there? So this car, um, it can do the family stuff, but as you'll see in a moment, it can do the performance stuff and it can do it very, very well. Uh, let's quickly see how the car picks up. Oh my God, a lot of torque. Jeez, oh, that was surprising. It's very similar to what it's like driving uh, a Porsche. It's not quite the Porsche feel in terms of the handling dynamics, or um, the, 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 the eagerness to go, but it's like Porsche feel in terms of like the dedication to performance perfection, if that is a thing. Oh, okay, this car is very good at handling. 
yeah, this is nice. It sounds great. Although some of that sound is fake, or I should say a lot of it is fake, you can still appreciate it. But you guys have probably realized I have comfort seats in here. Um, I have a lot of performance cars. So when I got a car that I wish to daily drive, I wish for it to be comfortable. Yeah, now that was a really fun road. I noticed something about this. This is going to be in the video when you're editing this. So he's editing it, but he's going to be anyway. This car, one thing I noticed is that it's very like it's planted, but it, the confidence isn't as much I, as I would like. It still feels a bit top heavy. And that's just obviously because the touring platform of cars coming Let me move out of the way. Um, because the touring platform, obviously the center of gravity has changed and the car's heavier than the regular BMW M3. So that just means that you do get a little bit of that unsettledness, but it handles it well. As this is the BMW M3 Touring, we've encountered um, something you encounter a lot while touring the world, a Ford. So we have to go through here. It says one foot. The rules of Ford, you keep, that's a lot higher than a foot. <laughs> Perfect. So when you go through water like that, what you want to do is just keep on the throttle because if you come off the throttle, you can waterlock the engine. Um, it went through it well, went through it fine. Um, touring stuff in the M3 Touring. In fact, that's probably what I'll call this video, Touring in the Touring. So after a week and after that drive, uh, the M3 Touring is incredible. I find it really good. It's not compromised like I thought it would be, like other performance cars are. I looked over my shoulder because I don't want to get hit by a car coming behind me. Um, it looks great. It drives really well. I noticed you have to drive it at the limit to have that confidence in the car. It's not a car that you can just get in straight away and feel the confidence. The fact you can also switch the four wheel drive mode in between four wheel drive regular, four wheel drive sport, and two wheel drive, rear wheel drive mode, which I didn't do today because um, these roads are very narrow. Um, I think that's great. BMW offered the driver a lot of opportunity to customize the drive in a way that they like for themselves. The BMW M2 Touring is a great car. I'm gonna bring you more content on it going forward. That was just a little taste, a little snippet of what this car is capable of and what this car provides. I think as a runaround, it's amazing. If you could only have one car in your garage, I think this is probably a safe bet. Um, I know a lot of people have said that online, but I truly mean it. Don't get run over, cameraman, by the Citroen. <laughs> a family of four, uh, sorry, this is Lou behind, Lou Mac Media behind the camera. <laughs> I just call him cameraman. Um, if you have a family of four, you can ferry them around in, uh, in comfort. You can fit two baby seats in the back. You can stick stuff in the trunk. You can probably get a bicycle in there, put a bicycle on the roof. I think all in all, it is a great car and it's capable of many things. What it really makes me excited about though is the M5 Touring, so we'll wait to see what that provides. But for now, M3 Touring in this um, matte blue color, please don't get, uh, Citroens are trying to kill you today. Um, in this matte blue color, wonderful car, great. It is a bit heavy, but it performs well. Uh, I'm excited for the M5, like I said. And I guess that's the end of the video. Cut. <laughs>